So Romans 6, 1, he says this, What shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? Are we to stay over here? No, that's not what God has called us to do. Are we to continue in sin that grace may abound? By no means. How can we who died to sin still live in it? And then he explains that death. Do you not know that all of us who have been baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death? We were buried, therefore, with him by baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might walk in newness of life. Now, if you've seen me do this before, it's, it's a, a, an, uh, an important image to get in your brain. Uh, we don't dunk. I, I'd be all in on it, a dunk, dunk tank. I think it'd be cool, but you don't have to. It's not about the water. It's about the, the promise of God for the forgiveness of sins and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen? If it's, about, if, it's, if it's about the amount of water, I needed a lot more than what I got, right? All right? It's not about the water. It's about the promise, all right? But let me just do the dunking for a second. If you've ever seen one, I've seen it many times, where they take the person down into the water. Notice what they're doing. They're laying them down as if they're laying them in a coffin, so you've been baptized into the death of Christ, but you've been raised to what? Do whatever you want to do? Or go over here and try and make your life perfect as if you could? No, but by the power of the Holy Spirit instead, he ra Jesus raises you, you see. The risen Christ who has the power and authority to raise himself from the dead raises you from the deadness of your sin. He raises you to walk what? In newness of life. But I want to say it again, to walk in newness of life. And I say that because you know the words of Jesus over and over and over and over again. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Notice what he didn't say. Go do it on your own. He never said that. He never said do whatever you want. Try to make it on your own. He never said that. He said follow me. When you follow Jesus, you see what God wants you to do. But when you follow Jesus, the light of Christ shines on you. And I'm going to say it again from 1 John 1, 7. And the blood of Jesus cleanses you, cleanses you from all sin.